God dead. I've lived in Sydney my whole life, but I got off at the wrong stop. Okay, I was actually meant to get off at museum, but I got off at St. James. Getting back on the train. Okay, this is where I was meant to go. Honestly, do I even deserve to call myself a Sydney local because I didn't even get off at the right stop and I work in the CBD and I catch the train every day, so I'm a fake Sydney cider. To be fair, I rarely ever catch the train to museum. Okay, I'm meeting up with my friend now. Sorry, I'm late. Hi. Sorry I'm late. It's alright. You know what? It's because I need coffee, so let's you go get coffee. Get oh no, it's raining. <laughs> Today was meant to be sunny. What happens? I just washed my hair last night too. It's not too hot. It's still like 10 minutes. It's like a, no, it's like a 15 minute walk. Oh, shit. It's supposed to be a 15 minute walk to the cafe that we're going to. Ooh. I think Hopefully. we're almost like halfway. Are we? Yeah. Yeah. This is spring in Sydney. This is what I have to do to stay dry. I just washed my hair. really raining hard now. We're in Surrey Hills and we walked about 17 minutes from the station to get these famous egg sanders from a cafe called Pun Pun. Initially I wanted to sit outdoors because there's some outdoor seating but because of this rain we have to wait for a table which is about 20 minutes but I honestly don't mind waiting. I hear it's really good. I got a coffee while we wait for our table. We're going to share the egg and we're also going to get the Hong Kong toast. Oh, yes! Um, I'm still good with my coffee, but we'll order our food. Can we get the egg sando? Do you want chili? Okay, we'll add chili. And also the Hong Kong toast. Yeah. Thank you. Cute little cafe with the cutest anime designs. I love all the details here. Still got my coffee and we've ordered our food. And we're out of the cold rain. I'm so hungry. Whoa. And we also got this. Oh wait, are you gonna cut open that? Yes. <laughs> got the egg sander with chili oil. Ooh. This looks delicious. Oh, 
<laughs> the egg is so fluffy and silky. Mm. It is so soft. Mm. The texture of the egg is almost like really, really silky tofu. And it kind of reminds me of chaan mushi. Like it's that soft and pure. Definitely recommend with the chili oil. It's not spicy, but it's so good. She can, I can. I climbed all the way up. She can? There's some cheese in it too. I would come back for it. Yeah, I would come back just for this. Mm. Egg, cheese, and chili oil, and bread. I don't think you can ask for a better combo. It's decadent. Mm. 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 You do? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I know Milo. Growing up, Milo was my childhood. I would have it every Saturday morning. So this is very nostalgic. I feel like I haven't had Milo in a long time. Whoa. And then it's um not as sweet as I thought it would be. Like when you look at it, it looks really, really like intense, but it's not. My dad. It stopped raining, but now it's really busy. That's a huge line. So if you're going to come here, come early. It was so delicious. <gasps> Starting to see Halloween decorations. Oh, we're getting into the festive season. This is so cool. It almost looks 3D because there's a part of it that's focused. Look at this. Came to look at some art. I love it. All the pieces are so nice. <gasps> look at this one. This one is definitely my favorite one. <gasps> this is the dog. Hi. gonna go to this thrift store actually I think it's more like a consignment store in Paddington but they have some really nice pieces so let's see if there's anything good This is so pretty. I love it. This is so neat. You should try it on. Should I? Yeah. I actually love it. It's really cute. Yeah. I love the fit. <laughs> I love walking around Paddington area because there are a lot of very cute boutiques around here but we're pretty thirsty so we're gonna go look for a refreshing drink very quick hydration break we're in Mecca coffee in Paddington
heading into our last shop of the day which is Swap. I've been meaning to come to this shop for a while because I walked past a few times and I've heard they've got some really good pieces so we're gonna check it out. Is that the one that you wanted? Try it. That's really cute. I like it. This shop reminds me of like a New York thrift store. I love it. Gucci. It's cute. That is cute. This is so random, but I love how it's color coordinated. <laughs> I'm vibing this shade of blue. I don't know if it would fit me. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It's actually very comfortable as well. Should I get it? It's actually really cute. <gasps> oh, how much is it? Oh yes, how much is it? What does it say? Oh god. Oh, it's not that bad. 82 bucks. 82 dollars? Yeah. It's really good quality. Okay, I've decided to get it. It's still got the tags on too, so it's pretty much brand new. So good. So I thrifted these two items. I got this necklace because I really want to use like a statement necklace or something. And then I found this really pretty flowy dress, which was only like $20. Such a good find. I really recommend that thrift store. They had a lot of really good pieces. And we've done so much walking today. Time to head back. I wanna show you guys a very popular photo spot in Sydney. This spot is right in front of the Carhartt store and it's in front of this cafe called Pepper. It's a very popular tourist photo spot, especially, or even for locals, especially um, around the ledge here, or you could even go down the hill over there. It helps that all the trees are very purple right now. It's very vibey. Oh. <laughs> all right, home time. So I got my bagel and now I'm going to get a sweet treat just to have after. Ooh. I want to see what they have. That sounds so good. Another friend. It's a party. This is the spread. So, pumpkin bagel, pumpkin cream cheese, salt and chocolate chip oat cookie, flourless chocolate cake, Ferrero Rocher croissant, sausage roll, meat pie. I love the pumpkin and I love bagels. What more could you ask for? And cream cheese. This is heaven. Smell it. So, this is pumpkin cream cheese with my pumpkin bagel and we're heading into Halloween season, which is more pumpkins. This is <coughs> pumpkin heaven. Really? Mm -hmm. Am I going to get cancelled for cutting my bagel this way? Like, yeah. Slice it like that? No, because then only one side's going to have the pumpkin seeds. 
look at it. Eat it equally. <gasps> wow. All right. Mmm. It's actually really good. Mmm. It's like not too heavy. Like it doesn't taste cheesy. It just tastes like a dip. Like a pumpkin dip. Mmm. Mmm. The bagel though is a bit um, stale. Maybe because it was just sitting there. Oh. No, this is all I need. Mm. wind is not a vibe. I got this chocolate cake because I saw a TikTok last night of a chocolate cake so I was craving it. Wow. Mmm. It's so soft. It's kind of like a brownie slash cake. And we're gonna try this cookie now. Wow. Mm. I love it. I'm huge on cookies, that's why. Mm. Very good. I'm actually at St. James Station today. This time we're going to walk through Hyde Park and go back towards the Darlinghurst side of the city. Such a nice day here in Sydney today. It's nice and sunny and warm and I am feeling like a cold drink. Maybe like an iced matcha or an iced coffee. Look at the pretty jacarandas. Sydney's turning purple, it's so nice. Currently walking around Riley Street and all the jacarandas are out and it's so pretty and honestly makes for really good photo spots, especially because Surrey Hills in general has a lot of really nice architecture. All of these terrace houses are different colors and very, very unique. And I don't know, I just really love it here. And now we've got to walk up a steep hill to get back to Theka Cafe. This weather makes it very enjoyable though. Look how stunning the architecture is and the trees. takeaway because I just feel like grabbing a drink and walking around and exploring. Kinda eyeing out the forest berry matcha or ice uji kyoto matcha latte. Hmm. This is the drink that I got. It is an ice matcha with I think berries underneath. And I think I need to mix it up. Ooh. Strawberry matcha has been the latest craze around Sydney lately, so let's see how this one compares. Mm. Pretty good. I like the berries underneath, it actually makes it taste so nice and sweet. That was 
very good. I really like that cafe. People usually go there for their famous pancakes, which I've had before, but it's honestly too big to eat on my own. So if you do go, I'd recommend going with someone and sharing a pancake and maybe a savory dish. And then that would be like the perfect portion. Finishing off my day, meeting up with my friend Cindy, going to this Japanese fusion wine bar. And yeah, I could really use a drink, but more importantly, I'm looking forward to eating. Hi! Hi! <laughs> I think we got the table cake. already. Oh, 